Welcome. So today I'll be showing you how to get this liquefier. And um, there are actually uh, various spots uh, this parts could spawn in. I'll show you all of them right now. So first of all, you should have a crawler. Will just make things easier. But you know, once you go through the elevator and once you you know start from the spawn, go th down the elevator, jump through here. You know, this will be your first start really. Um, there's a part that spawns right here. Another right here and right here. Okay, sorry, right there. Um, another thing spawning point could be right here. There's actually a piece. Um, another right here. Or actually on the ground too. And... Another possible location could be right here. You know, back, you know, back by these boxes, you know, over here. But to be honest, you know, it's only spawned back here for me once. And there always will be this part right here, the foot. Every single game, it doesn't matter. It'll always be right there. Go get some money real quick. So I, I might as well just get this part, the tank. So basically there's a tank, a foot, um, and or a canister I should say. A canister, a foot, a part, uh, what is this? This is like the muzzle for it, that part. And the grip so as you've seen sometimes it, this part will spawn right here sometimes you know various you know various times actually the pot, parts will spawn in each of these cages it really depends and uh, you know and back here so yeah let's get this thing built right here And yeah, you want to be careful because sometimes, you know, you'd be building the part in the... <laughs> I actually went down a couple of times before, you know, building this thing. The zombie, you know, coming upon me. That's why I usually get crawlers, so I don't have to worry about it. And, yeah, actually sometimes the crawlers kill you too, so you got to be really careful. So, yeah, there it goes. And only one person can have a slicker fire at a time. I don't know why they did it like that, but, you know, I guess only one person can have it. And i actually show you how good this thing is once I get up to the roof. And one note, you know, when you shoot this thing, you want to be very, you know, very careful because, you know, for example, you could shoot the slick fire bolt right there. If you accidentally, you know, come across it, you could possibly slide down because, you know, that's what this does. It makes you slide. It makes a zombie slide. You know, you see right there. You know, so you could, you know, you actually shoot the ball right there and you walk across. You could slide down and die. So you don't want to do that. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, if you die with the slicker fighter, you know, you could get it again through the box. You don't have to build it again. And yeah, that's the only way you can get it other than building it. So. And slick fire is, is very useful if you know. You know, if you get trapped in a corner, you could just shoot the zombie and they'll all die, you know, with one bullet. You just gotta get a good shot. I'll give you guys a good example in a moment. Next round. As soon as this elevator. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, finally. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it's the most useful boss round. You know, those crawlers, you shoot it at them, you know, and they chase you. I'll show you in a minute. You know, you know how they bounce around and jump over the place, they're hard to get. You know. Jump at me and you, will break. you know, if they try, you know, get you, you know, once they hit the ground and you shoot some bullets, they'll just slide <laughs> uncontrollably. They won't be able to get you. So it's very useful for boss rounds. So it comes with 40 bullets, and you know you 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 know honestly you won't be able to fly through them fast unless you're just wasting them. It lasts pretty long. Boss rounds every four or five rounds, so you know you should get enough ammo for it every now and then. So you should honestly never be at this the ammo for this gun. You should always have ammo for it. Once I get done killing all these crawlers, I can show you when zombies bunch up. If you run a train, you know you can shoot them with one bullet, and you know you can kill at least you know 20, 30 zombies with one bullet. Uh, oh man, that crawler might be might be glitching out. I can hear him, but I don't see him. Yeah, he's definitely down there. So it's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I can't get the max ammo. That's actually never happened to me. You know, the <laughs> crawler glitched down there. I don't know what happened, but. So yeah. But real quick, I'll run a train for you guys and show you how actually powerful this thing is. And also, <laughs> if you want to be a jerk, you know, you play multiplayer or playing with another person, uh, you know, it affects your teammate. So you could shoot a bullet, <laughs> he could run into it and, you know, fall off, you know, fall off the map or fall off the elevator. Or if he runs into a group of zombies and slips into them, you know, he could, you know, die as well. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because you do that to your teammates, they probably won't revive you anymore. There you go. Oh, this is very bad. Oh man, I gotta get out of here. Yep, yep. I don't want to kill them because I want to show you guys. And I, don't, I do not recommend running a train down here because it's so easy just to, like you just see me do, get trapped. That was actually stupid what I just did. But, yeah. Oh boy, what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So if you can manage to get a train, train of them going, and get them bunched up, this will be easier to do. So there we go. Get them bunched up. And all it takes is one bullet. These uh, purple flames just totally disintegrate them. <laughs> It's actually pretty, it's a pretty fun weapon. At the score of 1 through 10, I give the Silica Fire, you know, a 7. It's pretty fun to use. You know, it's not the worst weapon. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.